This is a familiar scene, someone riding a horse with a nice jump thrown in for good measure. But how about this? It's a good girl. That's 17-year-old Linda Bell. She's one of the many people who've come to Black Swan Lake Stables to learn trick riding. And they learn from this man, Charles Plaxco. It's a skill a acrobatic riding. And even the rodeo will tell you that they consider the trick rider the uh, ballet or the top rider of the world. In other words, they ride better than anyone else. So you like it because? It's, it's skill and art and uh, shows them doing things that uh, the average person can't do. I know what you're doing is coming like that. you got to go more like that. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now you keep your feet there, you'll stand better. When you turn your feet down, you're going to sit down every time. Charles has worked with horses all his life, but he only began teaching trick riding about 10 years ago. That was when he ordered a trick riding instruction book and started working with one of his riding students. We started doing it for the fun of it, and first thing we knew, everybody wanted to see him do it. Word got around and things began to snowball so that before he knew it, Charles had as many trick riding students as he could handle. It's just fun. There's a lot of people to hang around with. It, you know, it's a challenge. Why do you want to learn how to trick ride? Well, to be in shows and to be on TV and everything like that. And I think it's fun. I just really ride for the fun of it. Of course, there are a few spills every now and then. Watch it. You're going to slide off. I told you to watch it. Get up, Martha. You're in a bad place. Well, it's as safe, I think, as a roller skater. It may be a little safer because they don't hit hard. Uh, a person will fall off a horse sometime learning to ride, and uh, they wouldn't fall any different than they would in this. Charles won't let his students do any dangerous tricks and always keeps a close eye on them. His students have never had any serious injuries. He gives you a lot of encouragement. He, you know, he shows you new tricks different things to try to inspire you, you know, by showing you the different books and that he has and stuff. He's just an inspiration, I guess. Well, it's uh, like, see, I do artwork. I do a lot of other artwork, and it's a challenge to the girl and the horse become one in a way to, to get the most, most you can out of both in skill. And in other words, it takes two. Many of Charles' students participate in rodeos and other shows, but as for Charles, he doesn't do any trick riding. I do the training of the horses, and I don't want to compete with the girls. We call them trick riding girls. Hmm. In other words, I train the horses thoroughly, and uh, uh, in a way I consider when, when you get a girl riding well, that uh, you have to train them, you're sort of riding with them in your mind.